this little bit of a different video for you today. Um, I am going to be redoing this whole entire section here. I'm not sure how much the camera's getting. Hopefully you can see it, but I have had my space. Well, I've had my wall like this for, I want to say three years and it's a long time. Um, it's getting to be just not what I want anymore. I want a different look. I want a whole different vibe. Um, I really want more big shelves like this. So I'm going to be rearranging the space here. Um, and then this wall is going to be totally redone. I did a little test patch over here. It looks like this. Um, it, it doesn't come off the wall. It's totally on there. And I put it on there with Mod Podge. So I wasn't really sure about it. But it looks like it's doing pretty well. And I'm going to just just paper the whole wall just like that and it's going to be overlapping and cool and then i have a couple like decorative ideas that i'm going to put on top so i just wanted to show it to you one last time so you can see it because this wall is going to be gone forever so say goodbye say goodbye to the wall um i can't wait for it to be gone and um, I'll just show you the whole process on this video and you'll just kind of go through it with me You'll see how I do everything. So if you would like to do something similar, you can try it if it comes out good I'm hoping it comes out good um, So let's go ahead and get started pretty cool. This is what I have so far. I have most of this wall on this side done. That side is like not done at all. Um, I, we did do like a line all the way across the top. My husband helped me because I couldn't reach it. <laughs> um, and I'll probably just show you as I go along today, just little bits and pieces here and there. And then I'll show you the finished product whenever I get done. I do have a, a couple spots with some wrinkles in it, but I feel like it looks fine because it's just going to be messy looking. It's going to be kind of artsy looking. But this is just the beginning, so don't judge it yet.
took me literally forever. I think I spent like four hours on this probably. <laughs> Um, but it's finally done. I'm so excited that it's finally done. It looks so cool. It's honestly cooler than I thought it was going to be. And then I'm going to nail the books to the wall and do the shelf and put the bookshelves and all that. So it's not 100% done, but the wall itself is done. And that's the most important part. So that's it. This is the wall. It is completely finished. This is it with everything up here and it fully decorated and all of that. And I'll take you through like a little little video of the whole thing in a second so this has been up on the wall now for um i want to say a couple months actually because, because i kind of was forgetting to film the ending to this video so that's what i'm doing right now and i also took a little while to actually get all the shelves up there and get all of my decorations and all of that because like I said, um, I expanded this whole thing. So in a minute, I'll zoom out so you can see the whole thing. But the whole entire wall is shelves now. And I have spaces like this in the middle that you can see the background. So it wasn't like pointless to put this on the wall. Um, but I, I knew that I was going to have three of these really big shelves. So I knew that you weren't going to see behind these. But I did the whole thing anyway, just in case I ever want to change the arrangement or whatever. Because... I am constantly changing this wall, honestly. I have, like, ever since we moved into this house and I started using this room for, like, my library bookshelf room, um, I, it has grown a ton. <laughs> Whenever I first did this, I had just the wall painted and I think I had one shelf about that big and, like, that tall and it was just right here and it was just one shelf and I didn't even have enough books yet that I owned to fill it, so... That just shows you how much this has grown and I think I've been here for four years now so four year growth <laughs> um but yeah I don't really need to talk anymore about it you pretty much have seen the whole thing it took forever to do I hope that if you do do it you have fun with it and just kind of make it your own I changed the idea that I had for this a couple of times because I actually ended up getting this LED light and I have another little thing that's up on the wall over there so originally my plan was to open books and literally nail them to the wall instead of having that but since I have that I just decided it would be too much if I put all of that up there I think maybe eventually if I ever want to change it I could always go that route but for now I'm really happy with how it looks so let me zoom out and like kind of just show you more detailed of what's really going on over here up top here I have just these this is a series with these books and then this is its own series so they have their own shelf these are some of my favorite series right here because these guys um I read when I was a teenager and I absolutely love them so I ended up owning all of them and my plan is to reread and annotate all of these then we have my Harry Potter shelf, obviously, and I actually just finished reading Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, and it was amazing, and I'm already missing being in this whole world. I do have to read Cursed Child, so that will be next, but um, I'm kind of saving that because I really miss Harry Potter already. <laughs> um, this is my Nicholas Sparks shelf, and I am obsessed with Nicholas Sparks. I always have been. Um, he is one of my favorite authors and I own almost all of his books now. So that's his own little shelf. This is kind of like my little girly drama books that just kind of just don't really fit anywhere else. So they all just go there. Then I have thrillers down here. I have thrillers actually all the way across on each bottom shelf. So they all go together and we'll just go from here up. So that was thrillers down there. This is a series right here. This is like all the same Ruth Ware. Then we have Paula Hawkins and the same author here. Um, and then just like one random filler book. Um, these are some vintage old books that I just love with The Hobbit and yeah. <laughs> Clearly very self-explanatory. Twilight Shelf. And these are all my signed copies and just like special editions that I absolutely love. I've got like a little note from an author back there. 
These are my mini books. This is where I'm keeping them. It's a little gumball machine. They actually like move around in there, which is really, really cool. And just some decorations, just random stuff that I've gotten like in boxes with books or whatever. Um, a little pop, my lava lamp, that really cool light. Um, some more Star Wars pops and that's just like a PR box. I have to figure out what to do with that. And I have a whole line of pops at the top up there. Picture of me whenever I first started Bookstagram. <laughs> I made this folded book. It was so hard to do. This is my fantasy shelf. My favorite series of all times, Hunger Games. So that has to be in the middle, of course. Um, my friend drew this for me and this is like my Star Wars shelf. So self-explanatory. Um, Magnolia Parks, Addicted. This has to be rearranged because I just got bad reputation and it does not fit up here. So yeah. <laughs> Um, this also is going to get rearranged eventually. This is kind of just a for now shelf, but this is my wrap TBR shelf with just some random decorations. Um, and then a thriller shelf, thriller shelf again at the bottom, little fantasy, like, um, retelling shelf. Whoops. Sorry. Uh, these are like romance books slash just like, I don't know, books I really want to get to very soon. I love this cute little disco ball. That's my husband right there in that picture. And these are just some books I'm like really wanting to read soon. And then obviously Bridgerton and some journals. These are some special edition copies that I'm obsessed with. Also got this little light up cherry and my little bell pop. Little Alice in Wonderland pop, salt lamp. And then I have this to go in the middle of there. Um, and here's some more mini books in here. a picture of me um I've got all my John Green books right there then I have I love the help it's one of my favorite books of all time just some like random books that I thought went together that I didn't really know where else to put <laughs> um this is my thriller shelf that's why I have my little skeleton yoga man and my dog shelf I don't really know what to do with this little thing I use it to take pictures sometimes so it's kind of just hanging out but this is also one of my favorite series of all times. It's um, a dog's purpose. One of these, it's a dog something is the name of the series and these all like go together. These are all of my hardbacks. I have two random books up here right now. Um, this one actually, I had it sitting like this for a while, but actually I had just moved that. So we got those and then these are just thrillers down here. And then in this little corner, I kind of just put this extra little shelf for storage is what I'm using it for. And my TBR jar is over here and my book journals are over here. If you do decide to try this, make sure you let me know. I would love to see anything that you come up with, even if you do something similar but different or whatever, um, make sure you let me know. If you would like to directly reach out to me, you can find me on Instagram and you can DM me and also look at all other fun content I have coming out over there because I uh, post on there a lot more often than I post on YouTube. I usually post on there about every day, so I would love for you to follow me over there. And check back here for a weekly video and that's every single Friday. And make sure you go check out some of my other videos because I have lots and lots of content for you to see. Um, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.